Look how big she is. When did you get this big? When did you grow this big? Uh-huh. <laughs> You're almost the size of me now. Oh. Hey big girl. Hey jealous cat. Ah, oh, we've just come home from school run on Ellen's last day in school for a while because this is the night before and the night before it's not even night yet this is the day before Ellen's water cath surgery and I'm still panting from lifting Ellen out of a wheelchair and putting her down here oh and I'm super thirsty after my walk home so I have me a little drink soda water did Caitlin come now was that my gate yes it was my gate that's Caitlin. Oh, sit here. I'll, 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 I'll support you. There you are, good girl. Yeah, so for the rest of today, I'm gonna sort out my home so it looks all right enough for me to feel okay having people running in and out of my house feeding my cat. <laughs> so I haven't, I'm not sending Luca off anywhere. I've got a friend who lives a few doors down from where I live. Uh, who's gonna, uh, well, whose daughter actually, who's good friends with Alice, is, is gonna uh, come in and feed Luca and dig out the worst lumps out of the cat litter. Um, and I'm gonna pack, obviously. <laughs> and we're gonna eat, obviously. And all through all of this, I have Caitlin looking after Ellen, so I don't have to. That's my take on it. You looking after my child, so I don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> How oh, hello? Hello? Hi! How are you doing? I love Yelly's reaction when she recognises her voice. Okay. Here is what Yelly's wearing tomorrow. Here is part of shush. Yes, I know, I know, I know. Shush. Dismiss. Your food is ready! Right. What Eileen is wearing. Part of what I'm wearing, I'm also going to wear these trousers. And then I've got stuff to pack. Including a big bag of pads for Eileen. Have I picked the right bag? Actually, that doesn't even need to go in a bag. Because it has its own handle. Clothes-wise for me, I've got... One warm pair of PJs, one cool pair of PJs. I have a feeling it's only going to be the cool pair of PJs that see the light of day. The dark of night. Hospitals tend to be warm, right? And uh, then I have soft and slouchy clothes. I'm not there to look fashionable. I need to be comfortable. For Eileen, I've packed a pair of PJs and a change of clothes to go home in. At all other times, she's likely to be in hospital gowns. So I don't need a lot of clothes for her. So that's done. I'm not gonna pack all the toiletries yet because I need to use some of them tonight, but um, hand cream, face cream, body cream. I actually packed a uh, face mask. If I get a moment to put on a face mask while we're in there, that's not a bad idea at all. Um, hairbrush, hairbands, uh, deodorant, toothbrush, toothpaste, my medicine, yeah, wet wipes, every mom's secret weapon, right? <laughs> so I'm not going to pack those yet, but they're prepared, pads. And then I have the big bag of tech. Well, I haven't got it in the bag yet. I don't know if it's gonna go in this bag. Um, it might do actually. The thing is, when we arrive in hospital, I'm gonna need my tech and I'm gonna need my snacks. I'm not gonna need my spare clothes or Eileen's spare clothes. But if I pack smart, it might just be two bags, three bags. And then Eileen's medicine's five bags. <laughs> You hear where this is going, right? So I have my laptop. I have chargers, so both of the micro USB kinds. I have my hard drives. One is which, 
Uh, one hard drive is the one I put all of my vlogs on to take them off my laptop because my laptop hasn't got an awful lot of space and the other one is where I have a few films and bits and pieces in case there's no internet at some point and I just want to watch something. I've got Harry Potter and um, a few other things on here. Bullet journals and my pens. My tablet. Camera card reader, battery and battery charger. Tiny tripod, we're not taking the big tri tripod, we're just taking the tiny one. The camera is gonna get packed, the ring light is not gonna get packed. That'll do for now. Here you go. Hey little one, let's get this. Let's get this. My sofa bed has a broken slat in it, so it can be slept on, but I have just kept it as a sofa because it can't really be sat on when the sofa is made up into a bed. So I've kept it like that and taken a mattress downstairs for Yelin to sleep on when she is here. It's worked quite well for the last few days. I am gonna fix it. I just, you know, I'm picking my battles as always. She is so tired. Caitlin told me that apparently she only slept three hours last night. So I thought, early bedtime. Yeah, I did think that. Hi, beautiful. I know you can't see the smile, but there's a big smile. Mwah. I'm gonna do night-night medicines. Let you have her sleep. Yeah. She's also thrown up a couple of times this evening, so yes, that's why we have Towels and muslins and everything. She's pulling her muslin up now. Are you talking? You have things to tell me. She also had a seizure just a few minutes ago, just before I put her to bed. Which I wasn't overly happy about, but we'll see if she has more. I'll give her medicine for it. Yes, I will. You're gonna have to turn around then. Yeah? You wanna be in shot, you're gonna have to turn around. Turn around. Every now and then I get a little bit restless and I dream of something wild. Turn around. Every now and then I get a little bit helpless and I'm lying like a child in your arms. Turn around. Every now and then I feel a little bit nervous that the best... Luca, get away from there. Luca, get away from... Oi! Um, I haven't done any more packing or preparing really. I've had dinner. Caitlin had to leave at six and I've eaten and we've had a little bit of a chat and we've watched a bit of Harry Potter. Yeah, we have, haven't we? There, you're getting a little close up of Ellen instead. Yes, um, what was I saying? I was saying that Rhonda was commenting on one of my old videos in which I was humming the Harry Potter theme tune and she said, I think Ellen's a bit of a Harry Potter fan. Ellen's a massive Harry Potter fan. She loves it. She really enjoys the films. She loves the music and um, I can confirm that she is house Slytherin. Aren't you? You Slytherin? Are you Slytherin? Yeah, I am a Slytherin, mummy. Every Halloween for several years running, we dress her up as um, e e Eileen Malfoy. Oh, where's the, where's the blockage? hate when it does this. Oh, Eileen, we got a blockage in the tube. Oh, hello, have you done a poo? We have the post-poop victory race here from Luca. Oh, come on. There we are, there it's gone through. This is Eileen's Omeprazole, which is an, um, an anti-acid. So stomach antiacid medicine and it comes as a tablet and has to be dissolved but it never got, goes completely dissolved it's a little bit sort of gritty if that makes sense 
and sometimes it blocks the tube a little bit and I didn't want it to get properly blocked I managed to stop it I know I'm a clever clever mommy aren't I you're a bit snotty yes uh, yes yeah, so I haven't packed anything else but this little madam needs to go to bed yes you do and we like to listen to Harry Potter as an audiobook when we go to bed when we don't listen to Skunk and Nancy yeah but we started watching Chamber of Secrets, didn't we? Do you want to have a little bit more Chamber of Secrets while I give you your medicines? Yeah? Bit of Harry Potter film? Really? Dum, da, da, dum, da, 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 da. Will you say goodnight to the vlog for now? And say mummy's coming back with the rest of us getting ready. Showing you what else she's going to pack prepare after I've gone to sleep or maybe tomorrow morning I'm gonna sleep really well tonight what do you mean no you're not gonna sleep really well tonight you're gonna throw up again oh. please don't please don't throw up mommy doesn't want you to throw up Mummy wants you to go to sleep. It has just gone five in the morning. I've had my breakfast and my first cup of coffee for the day. <laughs> and now it's time to just pack the last few bits and pieces, wake Ellen up and go. I went to Aldi and I bought a bunch of ready meals. Usually I cook a meal prep before hospital stay. This time around, I did not have the energy. So, bunch of ready meals. More ready meals, a lot of drinks, some, oh, sorry, super juices, and of course my ice blocks to keep everything cold. that is my cool bag and I won't need it for the first several hours I hope but as soon as we have a ward space I can put it in the parent fridge this is my dry foods bag which has uh, some bruschetta um, crispy things in it various Crisps, protein bars, I've got a can of soup, I've got like some rice pouches, oh I've got my vitamins and my hay fever medicine in here, that might be a good idea. I've got a couple of bananas, I've got some apples because I want to pretend that I'm going to be healthy. I've got a lot of sweets, I've got some packets of chocolate in here somewhere as well. my coffee and that's the point <coughs> filter or rather I suppose filter holder filters and my medical mama mug this bag is coming with me to the pre-op ward pads nappy bags wipes bunch of syringes giving sets clean bottle some for Tini. I'm expecting hospital to feed her and have everything that we need, but let's take that with. Let's get my headphones into the tech bag. I'm also gonna put Ellen's sleep system in the bag with her little bits and pieces. I have plenty more wipes. I've got an entire box or bag of pads. Now this too is a bag that I'm gonna have to come with uh, up to the pre-op ward because it's got changing gear for Eileen in it. I put all of her medicines in one bag. <laughs> Food. Do I overpack? I really don't think I do. I use all of this. I eat all of that. And I mean, this is the thing, like the food takes is so much. Get this lovely overview of it. This is for a three day stay. 
Oh well, what are you gonna do? Time now for me to get all of this in the van. And then I'm gonna have a week yelling up. And we're gonna get cracking. So thank you ever so much for watching. And we'll see you again very soon. Bye.